to see. What made Red Robbo such an important figure, given that he vanished from public life 30 years ago and yet we're still talking about him? Well, because of the great drama of British Leyland that occupied us throughout the 70s and a bit of the 80s, a company which was British owned had 40% of the market and stood as kind of symbol of, of uh, British good manufacturing. And it slowly and then very quickly um, went to pieces. And many people blamed the unions for being really involved with that. And Red Robbo, as the leader of the, uh, of the unions for five years, was, was, was fingered for it. The interesting thing is, he was probably the most notorious trade unionist of the 1970s. He wasn't actually a union leader. He was only a convener at Longbridge. Yes, I mean, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't a national leader, uh, but he was very important um, for the British Leyland um, uh, shop stewards. And, I mean, he was the person who... Uh, more or less had the say about whether um, workers would agree to the um, very striking uh, programme of retrenchment and renewal which um, famous Sir Michael Edwards uh, put in. Uh, at the first, um, he was in favour of at least part of it because he was a communist and the communists believed in state ownership and they believed in making it work. So he went along with some of the early uh, Edwards plans uh, on the basis that it would be consultation with the workers. But when Edwards got to the stage where he wanted to dismiss 25,000 people and close 13 factories, uh, he got it through by forcing a vote of the, uh, of, of the workforce. Uh, but Robinson felt that was too much and he um, objected to it and Edwards used that as a way to, um, to get rid of him because he wanted to get the first new car that Leyland had produced for ages, the Metro, up and running and he was advised by his, uh, um, his people at Longbridge, which was the biggest Leyland plant, um, that uh, with all the disputes that might break out, they couldn't guarantee it. And Edwards's reaction was to, was, was to sack um, Robinson. And Robinson Martin, was very, very not supported we're, we're short on time strongly here. enough by his own union. I mean, there was a strike. Yes. Martin, very um, briefly, Lem McCluskey has... And, um, um, Martin, Lem McCluskey has today said he was unfairly maligned by the media. Was he, very briefly? Um... He was made into much more of a bogeyman than he, than, than he was. He was a much more substantial man um, than his, his end suggested. All right, Martin Aidney, appreciate you joining us and uh, thanks for joining us on that trip down memory lane.